Okay, let's continue with part three. Um, here, this should be, that was negative four and four fifths. So this value will be um, here, negative one. If you're following me, make sure you follow. So now I'm here. I'm at x plus five is equal to one over 25. I'm, I'm looking at this one now. Um, you could just you could put this in your calculator, just subtract 5 from both sides, and that's going to give you a negative 4 and 24 over 25, and this will be your negative 2. See, these are my convenience points, and now it's easy. Now you just plot these points, sketch your graph. For this one, when you have bases other than 10, you can't graph those in a graphing calculator because most of the time they don't have other bases to graph other than base 10. So let's sketch this by hand. Okay, let's plot these points and sketch our graph. X is 0, Y is 1. We'll go about right here. Um, X is negative 4. Y is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, about right here. X is negative 4 fifths. Well, that's negative 4. 4 fifths is a little less than half the way. Estimate, go down to negative 1. About right here. Hopefully you see what's happening here. X is negative 4 and 24 fifths, 20 fifths over here. Down to negative 2. About right here. Hopefully you can see where your asymptote is. In this case, my asymptote is my lines gonna look like this your vertical asymptote is this line which happens to be x equals negative five well, we could have just thought of this as a log function shifted to the left five units so